In this episode, I try my hand at some of the new loot chests in the Glint store, open some Gladius cases I have built up, and also dive in and take a look at the new DEC grain liquidity pool. See what's up with that. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey all you splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Well, we're going to take a look in this episode at a couple of the big changes that went into the game today. Uh, the addition of the loot chests into the Glint store, as well as the Grain DEC liquidity pool. Um, we're going to start off over here on Peak D looking at this article on the loot chest. Just a first run, uh, before we go ahead and open some chests, just a run through of the numbers uh, quickly. Um, and as always, I will include the link to this article in the show notes if you want to reference it and check it out. So uh, once again, we've heard of the chests coming into the game, and I did a game update last night, um, but we up to let's see when was this posted eight hours ago up to eight hours ago uh, this being on the patch day we did not hear the details but we can take a look at the details here we have the minor major and ultimate chests um, the numbers are pretty much set here uh, in each of the chests you have a 33 percent chance of getting a reward card in each of the chests you have a 30 almost a 32, a 31, and a 26% chance of getting potions. Uh, the potions uh, n uh, percentage chance decreasing as they go up from minor to ultimate. Uh, the merits, uh, you have a lower percentage chance of getting uh, merits in the ultimate chest versus the minor, which is interesting. I can see where they're going for as far as probably as you go up in level, you might need fewer Gladius packs. I don't know. Uh, that stands to reason, though. Um, and uh, in reverse of that, the energy uh, possibility in the chest goes up from uh, they're figuring that as you go up um, and you get further into the game, you get the ultimate chest, you're going to need more energy. Makes sense, just like the merits make sense. Uh, the jackpot prize also uh, increases from uh, one hundredth of a percent to a tenth to one percent in the ultimate. Still very low, but uh, still nice to have that percentage chance there of getting a jackpot. I did see that uh, Gathering the Magic did get a beta pack off of a major uh, chest today, so that was a, a good deal. So interesting. It's always nice. Uh, let's face it, these are just gambling chests, so uh, a lot of this stuff will come in handy in game, though. So, But it would be nice to get a beta pack once in a while, right? So, um, And obviously the cost in Glint does go up, but one thing I will note is the nice thing is that um, they didn't have the restriction of 10 per level with the price going up. So they have a nice quantity. Uh, I don't think I'll ever be going over this like in one season buying more than 100 ultimate chests or 1,000 minor chests. Um, so I think the numbers are set well there. Uh, so I don't have to worry about, we don't have to worry about going, off, uh, going to that second level and incurring a extra cost. Okay. So in as far as rewards cards go, they further break down uh, the numbers and they go uh, by chest type. Um, you have a slightly less chance uh, to get common cards in an ultimate uh, chest. You have a set rate of 20% chance across the board uh, in all the chests to receive rares. In epics, uh, it uh, goes from 0.5 up to 8%. So that's one of the major differences between a minor and an ultimate chest. And then also with legendary cards, you will go from 0.1 up to 3.2% for the ultimate chest. Um, the gold uh, goes from a quarter percent up to 4% in the ultimate. So a nice jump on both of the legendary and the golds, although um, there's still very low percentage chance of getting. Um, we're kind of used to that at this point, though. Um, also, they break down the numbers uh, as far as the quantity of cards you can expect. And I'm not going to read through this all. You can check it out if you want to. But um, the minor, uh, you can expect uh, one card. 
uh, per chest, uh, and it can be any of the rarities. Obviously, obviously, a very low percentage chance of getting legendary, epic, or gold. Um, all the way up to the ultimate, where you can expect if you draw commons, it'll be between five and eleven. If you draw rares, it'll be between be between three and nine, and epic and legendaries between one and two. Um, so kind of expected uh you know so uh, and once again we have to uh you know they have to throw potions in there potions are handy for some folks um once again i've got plenty of them built up from over the years um, but you do have a percentage chance to get potions and as usual uh, the potion numbers will go up uh, from minor to ultimate if you draw potions in a minor chest you'll just get one if you draw them in the ultimate you'll get between five and fifteen it is what it is. Okay, and on the merits, uh, which we talked about a minute ago, um, the minimum merits go from 20 to 180 in the minor chest up to 1,000 to 3,000 in the ultimate. I was watching KGM Jam earlier and he drew enough in a chest, uh, an ultimate chest, to draw, uh, to buy a Gladius case. So that was nice uh, because I think that's a good value. You open a chest and get, a, get enough to buy a Gladius case, which um, for most people is a good deal because it will serve in most cases to strengthen your deck. Um, and to boot, he bought, he got a Quora. So, <laughs> okay. So, um, also we talked about the energy. Um, this is a, a new, uh, thing within the game and I want to do a whole episode on this, how this is going to affect, um, uh, the game. However, uh, you can expect in a minor chest getting one energy uh, per chest if you draw that and up to the ultimate you can get between three and seven energy. Keep in mind that once you go over that 50 level though with your extra energy, it will not start uh, ticking back up until you go below 50. So uh, it's kind of a game you're going to have to play there. If you get the extra energy, use it. My takeaway is use it, get some more uh, get some more matches under your belt and increase the SPS you're bringing in, hopefully if you win. So that's my takeaway there. And also you've got the jackpot prize, which we talked about. Uh, you have uh, three, three titles uh, available. Uh, you have 500 plot tokens available. You, you have 1,000 beta, to, uh, beta packs available, and there are various gold foil c legendary cards, which is, uh, there isn't a number on that to be determined. So as they said in the, the town hall, once the number is reached, they're given out, then that will come out of the possibility of being in a chest, and they will cycle something in in its place, hopefully of the same value type. Uh, we will see how that goes. Okay. Let's go ahead, uh, enough of that, let's go ahead and go over to uh, the Glint Shop. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off with a batch of 10 Ultimate Chests just to see what I get. Uh, if you saw my videos early, earlier this season, I already did some rare draws and I'll do some. Uh, it's coming down to the end of the season, so I don't want to sp spend a, a splurge a bunch of, of Glint, but I wanted to go ahead and check these out. So, And I think I'll mostly be interested into the ult in the Ultimate Shop. So the first thing I, what I want to do is I want to go into the settings and I want to make sure that I am using potions for this. I usually have them turned off. So we will turn those on just in case, and let's go ahead and draw 10 ultimate chests, 25,000 glint, and see what I get. Just to dip my toes into the water. Okay, here we go. Nothing's shaking yet. So uh, five Imperial Knights, 1,640 Merits, eight Gobs and Bombers, one Thane New Song, seven riverboat captains, four energy, five dry bone barbarians, three energy, uh, 11 alchemy potion charges, and 14 alchemy potions. So a bunch of potions, a bunch of commons, um, you know, um, nothing great this time around, but who knows next time. Uh, I may have enough to, uh, let's go into the guild. Um, I have enough, I can buy another gladius pack because I'm getting ready to open some that I have uh, built up over time. So we have that, but while we're here, I wanted to call 
to your attention, something that Nate had talked about in the pr uh, previous town hall is the fact that they added the conflicts to the top bar where you can access that directly if you want to go in and check out your conflicts instead of going in through the shop. Uh, I think that's a good idea. So let's go back and let's open. Uh, I do have 17 Gladius cases and I'm just going to open them all at the same time. Save a little bit of time here. And I do have uh let's see here let's see what we got i'm just going oh gold foil lisa fox chimney wall stop times two bertrall gobson times ten two serious two relinor cleaver i use him quite often uh one trap fallaway four is god is gold vorst seven helmet Carfax, Carfax, four Crash Wonderford, like him. Speed always helps. Three Catrifus Bane, four Whistling Damon, a Quora Towers Head. I need another few more of her to hit level four on her. Uh, three more Lisa Fox, Cutter Breeze times one, eight Witch of Warwick, three Hugo Strongsword, six Ajax Lightfoot. I use her quite often. Uh, three Orella Abaddon, five Paladon Rack, four Catrelba Gobson, I think a favorite across the board right there, two Alfredo, uh, three Captain Katie, another favorite across the board, and one Gorth. He looks pretty intimidating, but I very rarely use him. Uh, so not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, let's uh, get out of this, and let's go over to the other big change. Um, when you go into land now, you will see another button up here at the top. It's called Trade Hub. And in essence, what this is, is this is a DEC and grain liquidity pool. There's two things you can do here. The first thing is when you have this slider over here to the left, you can swap. Uh, basically, if you want to buy some grain um, for one of your regions, you can buy it with DEC. Just get your DEC, have it available, come over here, select the region that you want to like i have three regions i'm available in because uh, that's where my land is select the region that you want to um to send the grain to and then you can either type the amount of grain you want or how much dec you want to spend and uh, if you're familiar with um liquidity pools and swapping where i think we're all uh, familiar with this you have to set your uh, market f uh, fluctuation slippage point here and the more you set it uh, the more you possibly could pay however the faster or higher percentage chance you have the trade going through faster okay that's clear as mud but uh, i would keep it at 2.5 or 3 percent and see how that goes um now, the second thing you can do is you can actually provide liquidity, which keep in mind when land 2.0 comes out, there's going to be more steps to this because you're going to have to have land to keep your grain on and you're going to have to have DEC uh, staked and you're going to have to have the grain in storage to be able to provide liquidity. So there's going to be some extra steps to that. Now, at this point, what we can do is we can see that uh, there's already been some action on the market today. Um, there has been, this might be pretty small to read here, but you can go in and check it out yourself. Uh, 314, almost 315 million grain uh, put into the liquidity pool and uh, just a little bit over 4 million DEC put in. Uh, you can see that currently my contribution is at zero and the trade activity so far since this went live was about $912. Um, and then you can, you know, as time goes along, we'll be able to see the 30 day trade activity and the fees earned. Now, why would you want to uh, put liquidity in? Well, come back and check this out on the exchange resources. There are there is a 10 percent fee on all swaps. OK, 5 percent of that gets burnt and 5 percent goes to the market shareholders. Um, who provide the liquidity. So once again, you come back here and you'll see under my contribution, which we're going to do here in a minute, because I'm going to put some in to give you an example. And then you'll see a percentage of what the fees that you will receive because you provided liquidity. Okay, let's go ahead and go into manage. And I'm going to take a stab at this because I'm not 100% on this. Uh, I didn't see any instructions Future on this. me butting in here because as I was editing the video, I noticed that up to the right, 
if you click on the Academy button, you will see some instructions on the swapping resources and the market contributions. So uh, I would advise you to go ahead and read those before taking any action. But I had not seen that before when I was doing the video. Now back to the video instructions on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to add and I'm going to add from my Tostrington 114 um, because I have some extra grain over there and I am going to add 250,000 grain. Okay. And you can see that the matching uh, and like value of DEC was populated on the left, which I have uh, enough to go ahead and do that. I'm going to add shares click confirm okay and it shows that uh, the grain and the DEC was removed from Tostrington now if we go over to well we can go to my at this point in time there's only one market so my markets and all markets will show the same thing but in the future when 2.0 comes out all the other markets will be listed here so you can go in and um, uh, purchase whatever you want whether it be grain or wood or you know whatever it is you know so that's this is the setup they have going now and you will see that my contribution has changed here you can see that my grain was just slightly under 250,000 and the DEC I put in is slightly uh, more than 3,200 and that gets me a 0 0.079 share of whatever comes in. So, and I'm not sure if it's just in that, in that region or across the board. I think it's across the board at this point in time. Um, with that said, I'll keep an eye on it and I'll report back. Uh, we'll see what goes on. Um, either way, that's uh, you know a couple new things that went into the game today. Uh, leave in the comments what you're seeing. Did you get something interesting out of your loot chests on this first day they were available? If so, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, uh, let me know uh, how you feel about these changes. I'm thinking so far, I like the, the changes, and I think that the grain DEC pool going live is a good step and a good foundation towards land 2.0. This has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And a show note, a calendar note, this Saturday, and I'm checking the calendar right here, is the 18th of May. There will be no live stream. Once again, no Saturday morning stand up on the 18th of May. Uh, due to family matters, I will be out of town. But with that said, I'll see you on the flip side. Thank you.